And I don't know if you noticed this today, but the official protocol at the Madaraka Day celebrations was once again the clearest illustration of broken ties between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto. In a departure from tradition, the official program did not contain the welcoming protocols that would normally see the deputy president invite the president to make his address. Uh, president Kenyatta instead took direct control of the program immediately after he officiated the state award ceremony. He invited his guest, Sierra Leone President Julius Marabio, and then proceeded to address the nation. Our very own Citizen TV's Nimon Tabu is on the protocol watch tonight. National celebrations like this are guided by elaborate state protocols enforced at various levels by assigned officers. From the seating arrangement to the timeline of events, state protocol is at the core of national celebrations. This booklet is usually the formal script of the flow of events here, including speeches. But today's protocol program was unusual as it departed from the norm, especially on the list of speakers. There was no place for governor of Nairobi and more significantly, no space or mention of the deputy president. <laughs> president Uhuru Kenyatta appeared to run his own show. He took over immediately after the entertainment session and presided over a brief ceremony of awarding various Kenyans with state honors. After that, the president requested for his speech, which was brought alongside his presidential dais. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kumkaribisha aweze kuwasalimia wa Kenya na kutoa salamu zake na pongezi zake he went straight into proceedings by recognizing various guests present, among them the visiting Sierra Leone president Julius Mada. He appeared not to recognize the presence of his deputy. Mada Bio, president of the Republic of Sierra Leone and the first lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Kiwimi Adesina, President of the World B of the African Development Bank, and indeed a true and great friend of Kenya. Honorable speakers, your ladyship, the Chief Justice on Martha Kome, all national leaders and leaders from across our entire spectrum, members of the diplomatic corps. Fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, Hamjambo. He then invited the visiting head of state to speak before he went straight into his speech. While we have had the longest and most consequential period of transformation in our nation's history, it does not mean that the work of nation building is complete or that we are free from want as a country. <laughs> Today's program had some stark comparisons from last year's celebrations in Kisumu. For instance, the June 1st celebration program held in Kisumu clearly indicated that Kisumu Governor Professor Nyang Nyongo as well as the DP would address the nation, and they did, before the head of state. To invite His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. It is now my very humble duty to request His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, to make his statement and continue the program from there. Today's program, however, only indicated a slot for the state address. No mention of Deputy President. Earlier on, Deputy President William Ruto was left out of a gathering of cabinet secretaries at State House Nairobi. His spokesman Emmanuel Talam told reporters that he had not been invited to the State House function. It will be my last Madaraka as president. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you. We have worked well together. The ceremony was ostensibly a farewell get-together for the cabinet, this being the final national holiday celebration under the Uhuru administration. Assistant ministers that were youth, so getting youth also into government. So a lot of achievements. The two terms I've served with 
under President Uhuru Kenyatta have been probably the most exciting time in my life. At Uhuru Gardens, Deputy President William Ruto waited in front of the official dais and welcomed the head of state of Sierra Leone to the venue. This, as the president and the cabinet mingled happily at the state house. Before departing in a procession to the Uhuru Gardens for these celebrations. Further illustrations of bad blood between President Kenyatta and Deputy President Ruto were evident in the afternoon as Ruto proceeded to a campaign rally in Kikuyu. Traditionally, the President is joined by the Deputy President at the State House for a post celebration luncheon. But today, they went separate ways, perhaps in final affirmation of their broken ties. Nimrod Tabu, Citizen TV.